Welcome to Eco Journaling. In this video I'm going to be making an envelope journal from some very specific envelopes, those that would normally come with bank statements or letters from the tax office, that type of thing. They often have a window in them. So I'm taking a number of them and I'm just putting some paint down onto them. Not them all, but just a few. So just really brayering some paint over, just really to, to get them started. So, here we go. I have a number of envelopes now. Uh, some of them painted over and some of them I've left plain and all I've done is to fold them along their natural crease. Now, where they have particularly rough edges, I've taken those off. I'm not trying to make them nice straight lines, but I do want the, the very jagged bits to, to come off. Now, obviously you can cut those if you wanted, uh, but I'm just going to pull them along the edge of a ruler just to try and keep that uh, kind of rough look about it. I'm not pretending that this journal is anything other than rough and ready and for me that's the charm about it. So here we have a number of those envelopes, as I say some of them already painted and some I've left plain. So I'm just looking at uh, the order that they're in and just making sure that they're running as I want them and thinking about which one that I actually want as front cover. Now, I could use a file folder as a cover for these, and I had actually thought about that, but on this occasion I decided that I was going to keep it simply as the envelopes themselves, and I'll use a file folder for another journal at some point down the line. So here I am, just deciding which way to put the front cover on, and I quite like the envelope on the front at the bottom there. So I'm moving to the centre of the journal and what I'm going to do now is look at how I'm going to, to bind this. Now you could simply put two holes in it and uh, tie a piece of wool or whatever through it, but uh, that, that, that would be fine, but I've decided that what I'm going to do is a basic three hole pamphlet stitch. Now I already have some waxed thread so I'm just going to use that, but you could use wool or string, really anything you have to hand. Now I also happen to have an O, so I'm going to use that to punch a hole initially in the middle. You do need to be careful with these things, as you'll see this gets pretty close to my hand. I have jagged myself before, but you do need to be careful. What you can do is just do one at a time, one page at a time if needs be. I'm just trying to do it quickly here. And if you don't have an O, then anything that has a point on it, but just be careful. So, that's the first hole done. I've decided though that uh, because the envelopes are all slightly different sizes, I do need to now to try and keep them in place, because if they move at all, then the other holes uh, could end up not matching up. So I've poked one in the middle, I'm just making certain that they do still match up, and now I'm going to punch one either side of that hole. Obviously I could measure this out, but again this is a cheap and cheerful rough and ready journal that I'm making, so I'm not going to worry too much about how it looks and whether it's exact. So there we go. I 
So in terms of the length of the, the thread or whatever material you're using, I'm doing it roughly two and a half times the, uh, the vertical height. If you wanted to make a journal and put some beads or something fancy on it, on, you would thread it from the outside. But I'm threading from the inside. So you pull it through and make sure that you leave a tail on it. Turn it over and go to the top hole and push it through. Now if you've got a lot of envelopes or papers, whatever you're making a journal out of, uh, it can be quite difficult at times to, to push them through all at once. So what you can do is thread them through one at a time. Now it may be here that my envelopes have moved slightly or uh, I've just come up against a piece of paint on one of the envelopes but I've just had to take the all and push it through again. If you do have a lot of paper sometimes it's quite useful just to have a set of pliers just to pull it. So now you want to go right down to the bottom hole and take it through there. And I'm sorry this goes off screen a bit. So, while it's turned up the other way now, that is in fact the bottom hole. And what I'm now going to do is just make sure that my thread is tight. You need to be careful that you don't pull too hard because you can tear the paper. But by the same token, you don't want the threads loose. And I'm now going back through the centre hole and I'm making sure that I pull it through on the opposite side of the thread to which that original tail is actually on. And again I'm just checking that my threads are tight. If they're loose the papers will move about so that's why it's important to make sure that they're pulled as taut as possible. So now that I'm happy with that I've got the thread either side. I'm now going to, to tie them in a knot. Now I could have just taken a needle off here but for some reason I leave it on. Then I usually do a triple knot. So I've got three knots in that piece of thread just to make sure that they're properly secured. If you want you can put a piece of glue on the top and that would also make sure that it just holds it in place. But with it being the waxed thread, it, it tends to be fairly secure anyway. And then I'm just cutting the ends off. Now again, you could leave a large tail if you wanted and make that into uh, almost a, a bookmark that then goes back out to the outside of the, the journal. So, there we have it. The pages are bound together. Now, I'm not going to pretend that this is anything other than a rough and ready journal. Uh, it is what it is. It's not meant to be anything other than that. But uh, the real magic now lies in actually starting to use it as a journal. And all in all, I'm actually quite happy with it. You know, that was a number of envelopes that would have ended up in the recycling bin and they've been put to some use. So now I've identified a page that I'm actually going to, to journal on. And what I'm going to use on this is some of the materials that I used in some of the previous videos, uh, just to do some stamping and also uh, the tags that I made in one of the previous videos. So I'm putting down a background colour here. Uh, I often end up making mud because I don't dry it properly in between but that's okay you can always recover from these things and now I'm just doing a little face just a very quick drawing just by way of a demonstration of how to do a journal page in this particular journal
I've drawn lines, but I'm not actually too bothered about keeping in the lines. Who needs to keep in the lines? Probably doing it back to front might be better doing the background first, but again, it doesn't matter. So I've set that off to the side to dry and I've now returned to my journal page. So here's one of the windows from one of the other envelopes and I quite like the colour on that and I'm deciding just which way to put it on. I'm just using some cheap glue and it's nearly at the end so I have to squeeze in that bottle quite hard. And there we go, I'm starting a journal page, starting to, to build up the different layers. At this point I've absolutely no idea what it is I'm going to do. I just grab materials and go at it. Here's some of the stamped tissue paper that I made previously. I've used this in several projects now. I'll need to be making some more soon. I do really like the way though that tissue paper goes down onto the page because it has that kind of semi-transparent look. So back to my little stylized face and I'm just going to go round this with a marker. The marker is quite handy because uh, it means where I haven't properly filled in the colour, where I haven't blocked in the colour, I can get away with some of that. So at this point I decide that actually I do want to use that other side of the page. I had been going to leave that. So not necessarily trying to make it the same colour as the other page but just want to bring it somewhere closer. So I'm now taking a piece of kitchen towel which has a pattern on it and I'm placing it down and you'll see that when I lift that it's actually uh, left a pattern on there. So I do that across the page and uh, of course a piece of kitchen towel I will use over and over again. So here I am now, I've got one of the tags I made in a previous video and also some of the, the full washi tape that I made and one of the harps and I'm just playing about with these now to see where I think they'll best sit. I think that can sometimes be the hardest part of making a journal page where you want to place something, just deciding exactly where you want to place it.
Now if I place some double sided sticky tape on that washi previously then I could have just taken the back off of that but it's just as easy to put some glue on it when I need to use it at the time. And the page is really starting to build up now and, and come together. Well, here I am with my uh, wine cork, another favourite tool of mine. Just doing a bit of stamping all over. And now with a top around it I'm putting some blue. The blue doesn't stand out particularly well so I'll uh, then go on to use some black just so that it pops a bit more. And now just doing a bit of stamping with one of my recycled plastic biscuit box. And a bit of highlighting with a white pen. And now a bit with a black pen. Now to journal. So what else but I love eco journaling. And just going round outside the page with the black. Again, that just helps to make the page stand out. So, for my first page in my cheap and cheerful, rough and ready art journal, made from recycled envelopes, I'm really quite happy with that page. I do quite like it. And I've since gone on to make some other pages in the journal and I shall so show you some still shots from that. So for this one I took the central pages I took lots of pieces of collage and started to build it up. I then added some gesso just to tone down some of the background colours and then I saw some islands so started to develop those and added in some more colour. 
And then the next page was an abstract page. So again, starting off with some collage and just a few colours. Again, using some of my tried and tested recycled stamps. So it's my intention to make some different style journals in future videos. One using greetings cards and the other using junk that comes in the mail every day. Or at least it seems like every day. So thank you for watching and I do hope you'll join me in future videos.